Welcome to BC Radio, where BC stands for... Clemson Carnage. There you go. I'm your host, B. And I'm C. Yeah, all right. And uh, for those of you who um, been listening to our other tracks, uh, yes, that is a new intro music. Our old, uh, old one wasn't working today, so I had to go switch it up today. Tell me how you like it, and uh, how you doing, T? I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing good, but you keep like, switching up my... My letter. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, kind of your bad because I didn't do anything to. I'm not at fault at all for messing up. I didn't mess up at all. You did. You're, you're stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? <laughs> I'm all, um, uh, I'm good. I was just stressed, but now I'm good. I got one of those uh, Asian ladies to give me a massage, and they suck. I beat one of them up and stole their money, like Grand Theft Auto, and now I'm here. How much money you get though? It was like fifty six, fifty six bucks. It, it, it's no change. Time. You can't do anything with fifty six bucks in Grand Theft Auto. I mean, you could get like ammo, maybe. No, you can't. Burger. That's like, you can get have a burger. Like, Burgers are like seven dollars. Se- a seven dollar burger? Yes. What is this, Carl's Jr.? Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> No, no, the chick. I think the chicken nug- the chicken nuggets are seven dollars. I think the burgers are like eleven. It's been a while since I've been playing Grand Theft I know, but it's like it's so ridiculous because every restaurant has like four dollar value menus. So it's like, how, how do they go from like, oh man, everything's super expensive, six dollar burger, and then they go down to value menu, everything's one, and then it's like, you know what? Instead of one dollar, give us four dollars, and we'll give you like three and a half stuff off the value menu. Hey man, They're... that McDonald's three dollar menu. We're not sponsored by McDonald's or anyone else, by the way. Why do but... we always say that? We're never responsible. We're not sponsored by anyone. We, we should want just to have be that. sponsored by somebody. We should have that in the intro. We're not sponsored and introducing. <laughs> yeah. But that value menu, like last night, I went to McDonald's because it's like literally down the street from me, and I'm lazy, yeah. and I got that that the uh, McDouble and the medium fries for three dollars. It's a pretty good deal. McDouble and the medium fries for three dollars. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. McDouble and medium fries. Yes. I think you just ordered off a value menu, dude. No, bro. It's I don't the, think that's. A, I don't think it's a real. I don't think it's a real meal. It's the yeah. It's the combo. It's the two for three deal. You can mix and match it. You can do like a McDouble and uh, Oreo McFlurry or. You can I don't do think like that's Oreo a real McFlurry thing. Oreo McFlurry and fries or Eminem um, McFlurry and like a burger. I'm telling they you, they like, got like nuggets on there. I've been to McDonald's like once upon a time, but once upon I, a time, I think the last time I went it was the when I went to go get that Grand Mac. Grand have you ever? Mac. Have you had you you went to McDonald's yesterday and you don't know about the Grand Mac? Grand Mac. It's like a bigger version of the Big Mac. Nah. It's terrific. It's like, it's the best thing. It's probably the best thing there. I mean, all in all, McDonald's is not the best thing at all, but it's it's perfect. It's like, it's for fat people <laughs> who who still want to eat, like, not a real burger, but like a dessert burger. A dessert burger? Um, uh, okay, if you compare a Big Mac to any burger that you've ever had, even burgers from McDonald's, it's the sweetest burger you will ever eat. What about like a teriyaki burger? Okay, well that's got like deliberate sugar on it. Like that's like that's like comparing the Big Mac to like the Luther where it's got the donuts for buns. Like of course <laughs> it's going to have more sugar, but like if you compare it to like a traditional burger, it's so sweet. Barbecue burger? I mean that depends on sauce in it? that depends on which type of barbecue sauce you have, but like I'm telling you, man, it's not. Yeah, like, it, it's nowhere close. I can give you that. I mean, they got that "quote unquote" secret sauce, which is Thousand Island. Uh, right. yeah, that's what makes it sweet. I, I don't know. I, mean, I, like I don't know Thousand what Island. else they're doing. Like, they put like pickles on it. I don't like pickles. They Ugh. put lettuce on it. When's lettuce sweet? They don't have any tomatoes on it. They barely, like, no, they, they pack that thing with cheese. They pack they, that thing with lettuce. They kill it with cheese. They kill it with lettuce. And I don't know what it is that's making it sweet. It's not the sesame seeds on that bun. I'll no. tell you that much. It's not. It's got to be that. 
but they give you so much lettuce, it almost gives you a salad. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you ever just, like, you're done eating, it's, like, it's the closest thing to, like, a taco where every every time you eat a taco, like, every, like, a half a taco falls out and you get, like, half a taco on the plate and you just eat it with your fingers. <laughs> they should just, They should start serving tacos with just, like... One taco and then like a a fresh shell on the side, so you can take all that stuff that you dropped and just make like a second taco. I would endorse that. I would. I would definitely buy one. I would get one of those. Seems yeah, like it's a gotta... it's a taco and a half value menu. Yeah, overstuff the first taco a little bit. Oh yeah, of course. But what now, do you think? Is, what is your favorite fast food? My favorite fast food. You know what? I am trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to like lean to Wendy's. Wendy's? I I try. I try. Why? I tr- because I'm like, you know what? Baconator. Let me give him another shot. You know what? The 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 uh what is it? The Overrated. three the three the three patties. Like I'm like, oh let me give that a try. I haven't had Jack in the Box in a very long time. I haven't That's had really good. I love Jack in the Box. I hear they love Jack in the Box I hear. Okay, so are we just talking about like fast food restaurants or just like just to get lunch or something like that, or we count breakfast and everything. Ooh, because if we, we count breakfast, if we're counting breakfast, McDonald's is out. I hate McDonald's breakfast. What? McDonald's breakfast is disgusting. What? It's overpriced. The sausage frankly, biscuit. Frankly, I think them saying that, oh yeah, we're serving breakfast all day, is the biggest slap to the face that they can do to any America, freaking Great Britain, England. What? That one McDonald's no. in Tiananmen no. Square. All that of them. It's the biggest. It's the biggest. In the morning. It's the biggest slap in the face. That it's the biggest slap in the face at. to the world. Whatever. To the, whoever said, "Hey, let's serve McDonald's all day. Let's sit at McDonald's breakfast all day." I, I want to meet that person. I want to pick legend. their brain. I want to pick their brain. Thank you, whoever say, you were. Hey, why? Are. Why did you say that? Why did you Thank say, you. "Hey, let's go ahead and use breakfast every day"? Because I want to know, just so I can be justified when I punch them in the face. One because time, that's all I need. Great. I'm not gonna be a jerk and say, "Oh, you want to do breakfast day. all day?" I'll punch no them in the face. No matter when, where, drunk, sober, high, you know, just fresh out of surgery, fresh out before a game, after a game, you know. I'm going. I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna breakfast I'm gonna is always good. Breakfast I'm going to is apply always good. To multiple pancakes. McDonald's. I hope they hire me. I will go work at McDonald's. I will shoot you in the foot. I will work at McDonald's and I will make sure that everyone who orders breakfast after, uh, let's say, you know what, eleven. After eleven, I'll give them that little wait period from like, even be, even when they start serving breakfast early, that pisses me off. What? Like, I'm I'm drunk at four in the morning. You start serving breakfast and you can't serve burgers. What? I can't deal with this right now. Like, are you serious? Like, how could you? I love sausage biscuit, bro. <laughs> yeah, you would love sausage biscuit. Yeah, just, that just soft, and then that just meat. Mm. Just love shoving it down my mouth. It's so good. I can't with you. What about In and Out? I mean, the West West Coast people. All right, let me tell you this. I would tell everyone who's in California or wherever you may be where an in and out is, Texas, Arizona, a place like that, if you have someone tell you how good in and out is, it's not as good. But if you're a child, because when I was a child, see, and I had never had in and out before, and I had walked in there, and uh, you smell it, and you go, huh, this aroma smells nice, smells good, smells appetizing. You go in. You order just three simple things. One, two, three. There's no 20 things you can order off the menu. Hmm, just three simple combos. Sure, they got the off, you know, the quote-unquote secret menu. We can go into that later, but we'll just stick to the, you know, all menu stuff. And you know what? It's easy. It smells good. It tastes good. It's fresh. You can taste the lettuce. Take a bite of it. You could still drink the water off the tomatoes and lettuce. Those fresh, crisp buns. You take a first bite. You take of it. It's first. It's soft, and then you crunch down. You bite down, and you take that nice crunchy like crunch of that of the buns, and you just have that nice crunchiness 
fresh taste of that lettuce, tomatoes, and then you have the meat. You so know what? Good. You so know what? good. I, I, I won't let you do this. I won't let you do this to yourself. I won't let you do this to yourself. You, you sound, you sound, you, are you drunk right now? No, I are, wish are I... you are you high? <laughs> no, dude. Oh my! I'm you know what? You know what? You are wrong. You are wrong. I'm telling you. Know what? You are right in the fact that yes, it's crispy. Yes, you can drink the water off the tomatoes. But who the fuck is going to fast food restaurants for water? They give you water cups. You don't even get water. I'm telling you, man. That is no. I hate it. I hate it. Their fries taste like Lay's potato chips. What? Have you ever have you ever put ketchup on Lay's potato chips? No. Yeah, because I no one wants would. to. No one they wants to do that. They don't taste anything ever. like that. You, if, you if see anything, them get the, the potato. Thing, the only thing that I put love, it in there, and make the only it fresh. Thing that I love from In and Out. I like the lemonades. Yeah, pretty bad. I don't even like the shake. I don't even like the what? shake. I like the lemonade. You're just being difficult now. You're just being Maybe difficult. Maybe I'll, I'll take the lettuce off of the burger. I, I, I'll mess with the onions. I'll mess with the onions. Grill them up. Yeah, they're real good. I don't but like onions. It's too. They're doing too much with the with the vegetables, man. It's like it's three it's, things. It's seventy percent. Seventy percent. Thirty percent of that is no. You know what? I'm gonna say a good twenty five percent of that is is meat. That's that's too. It's a small amount. It's a you small can get the, amount. You can get double double. Overpriced. What? Overrated, overpriced, and overrated. Okay, I can say it's a little expensive, but not overrated. The, the, I would say if you, if you have, if you had someone just tell you in and out was the best burger ever, you, and you had, and you had it as you know, maybe you were in high after high school, post high school, and you're eight, nineteen, twenty years old, and you had someone tell you how good it was, and you weren't blessed. Let me With ask you the this. ability Let me to, ask to you go this. like a newborn. Let me ask you this. You're, you're a kid. You're in high school. You've got a limited amount in your pocket. You've got one place to go for lunch in your 45 minutes. And you know what? You have a choice. You have a choice between In-N-Out, Chipotle, or Chick-fil-A. Where do you go? In-N-Out. Why would you go to In-N-Out? You're wasting all of your time in there. You're That's wasting true. all of your time. You know what? I wouldn't go to Chick-fil-A, though. Chick-fil-A Chipotle. sucks. Chick Fil A does suck. I'm, I mean, I just put it out there. It is. I just put it on that list because it's also expensive. It's also expensive, Chick-fil-A. and you got to love Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is pretty good though. But if you're talking about somewhere that's fresh, has fresh ingredients, makes the food right in front of you, Chipotle. No, I know they've had no. what beans horrible. They have white people white rice. Like they have a white rice. That's not even Mexican rice. Okay, the wa- white guacamole company. is on point, but how company. hard it is to mess that up? It's a white company. It's a I white don't company. Care. I don't you care. You don't care. It's Mexican so, food. So just because, just because it's Mexican food done in a, a different culture, so just because white people make orange chicken, you don't go to Panda Express? Is that what you're saying? So if you were in China, you wouldn't go to McDonald's because it's made by Chinese people. Why are they putting, why are they putting those noodles on my burger? Is that what you're saying? No. Huh? No. Then why don't you give Chipotle no. a chance, huh? Because why don't we? Their food why don't we bring up? Sucks. Why don't we bring up Taco Bell, huh? Oh, Taco does Taco Bell? Bell's, oh, that's is Taco overrated. Bell's different. Taco what? Bell's overrated. How is Taco Bell overrated? They it's, have a they have a taco. They're, they're too with gimmicky. A, they have a waffle so taco, chicken taco, mm. two shells, cheese in between those. And you're telling me they're overrated? No, they are trying their heart out. If anything, they're underrated. They are underappreciated. They need you need to go to Taco Bell right now, and I bet you after this, I'm gonna send you a Snapchat. I'm going to Taco Bell right after. You ain't this. gonna send me no Snapchat. I'm Look at me with those beady eyes all you want. I'm going to Taco Bell. Go to right Taco Bell, you fatty. I'm. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? I'm buying value. Actually, I tell you that. They you know have... what's funny? What? I'll say this. Um, Taco Bell. Actually, is the healthiest fast food chain in America. They made it their priority to become the healthiest fast food chain. I don't. I, it was on the. Uh, it was in a report uh, about mm, earlier this year, I believe January. Maybe it was uh, late last year, December or November. Mm-hmm. And it was a report that they had. Um, what was it? They had a. They had revamped it because the image was so, the all people were always getting fat off their food and the high content food. Yes, they still have those fatty foods, but they also have the most healthiest food options on the menu. 
That's right. That's right. But you have to order them. And you oh. ain't gonna do that. What? Yes, you will. What? No, chicken you taco. Won't. Chicken taco. No, no sour cream. Chicken quesadilla. Did you just order the chicken, the the cantina bowl with the corn in it? Are you kidding I'm gonna me? I'll put a loco. You know what? The pollo bowl on point. You know what? I go to El Pollo Loco. All I get is the burritos. That's all I'm there for. But the El Pollo Loco burritos do their job. They are filling. They are big. They are they are authentic. I mean, I'm not I'm not Mexican. Maybe you could shed a little bit more it's light on the authentic good. authenticity of point. it. But they to me are authentic. I'll give I'll the give them bowl. theirs. I'll give them theirs. But you know what? I feel like we're we're leaving one out that needs to be talked about because if if I don't say it, I I will actually I don't know I kind of lose pride over it. I take shame for not mentioning them. Del Taco. Del I don't Taco. Really is, care for Del Taco. I know I knew you were gonna say that. I, I knew you were gonna say that. And I've had problems with Del Taco in the past too, like them saying it's a twenty four hour drive through. Yet uh, why am I waiting for food? Why you why are you not serving me food twenty four hours a day? We're gonna go past that. We're gonna go past that. We're gonna say their fries are great. Their crinkle fries are great. great. Their point. burgers, their burgers, which no one really thinks they're they're good for. They're okay. Their burgers, yeah, their okay. their burgers are okay. They're decent. They're not terrible at all. Yeah. But I, I honestly, I don't think up until this point I've had a taco from there. No, but, I haven't. But. If you try one of their epic burritos, I don't care how much you like Taco Bell, I don't care how much you like Chipotle, you're not going back. They have a, they have a steak and potato epic burrito that will knock your socks off. Not good. not your shoes, not your pants, not your shorts, not your underwear, your socks. You know, I never really had like the death. I've, I've I've been through the drive through. You know, I had the burgers and fries, but I haven't really had much from there like i don't even remember the last time i went there dude you gotta you 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 need to you need to like, experience i don't eat arby's i don't really care for arby's oh arby's isn't even in the conversation like i don't like, even i don't care for that arby's is still in business what <laughs> i mean wendy's i never really go to wendy's my mom never took me to wendy's she just yeah you never really go to wendy's that much and they're trying to mix it up with all the sides and stuff but they're not really doing as well as they could but really it's like taco bell Taco Bell's where it's at. The fuck? I never even touch Burger King. I don't know why. I'm just under the impression. I've heard they have amazing fries. I heard their fries are better than McDonald's's, but in and outside, I heard. That's what I heard. Chicken, their, um, what are the chicken fingers? Their chicken fingers are hella good. Those I mean, that's much. that's also what I hear, but I'm like, you know what? I never, never really see the opportunity. I never, like, I see Burger Kings all the time, but I'm just like, you know what? Who really wants to go to a Burger King? I feel like their name itself is like a misnomer. Like, uh, there's, there's probably better burgers out there. Which, we, which we haven't even gotten around to. We're over here talking about tacos and burritos from Del Taco and Taco Bell. Which, which, which of these fast food restaurants do you think has a top burger. The top burger. Yeah. So the number we're one. counting. We're counting McDonald's. And I, I want you to be. I want you to be as non-biased as possible. We got McDonald's. We got Carl's Jr. I wouldn't even uh, rank. I would rank them up there, but you know I'm putting them in there. Carl's Jr. Jack in the Box. McDonald's. In and out. Oh. See that. In and out to me. I'll tell you why. I will tell you why because it's it's just so fresh. See, the McDonald's, if you go, to the, <laughs> it's just so fresh. The big, the, What's see, up with the you and the Mac, fresh? See the Big What's Mac. The when I order fresh? the Big Mac, I don't want to. I want to order a burger, not a burger, fries and a salad. Okay, I don't want a salad with my burger. You know, uh, let's see. What is, is it? The um. If Burger you, King Burger? What's the Burger King Burger? If you, Whopper, if you Whopper. literally weighed the amount of lettuce between an a In-N-Out Burger and a McDonald's Burger, you will clearly see that there's more lettuce on an In-N-Out Burger. Right. Yes, there is. Right. They put, like, like whole, like, freaking, what's that? The, that's the size of my eye. That's, like, half of my head. That's how much lettuce they put on it. That's just how, that's just how thick it is. This thing's so good. It's just they just tear it off the whole lettuce head. 
Yeah, okay, I know. Now let's go to the Which Whopper. The Whopper's just... majority bread. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, it's just terrible. The condiments that they have on it, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to put ketchup here, mustard here, and you're going to feel it with every individual bite. So, like, one bite, you're like, oh, that's ketchup. Oh, my God, mustard. Yeah, like, it's... No, it's not mixed right now. Yeah. Next one. What's the next one? Uh, Jack in the Box. I don't order burgers from Jack in the Box. All I order from there is the Jack Spicy Chicken and the what? Curly Price. You know what? I got to give it to Jack in the Box. They have some good burgers in terms of how healthy they are. I wouldn't go that far, but Jack in the Box is mainly like. I don't like their tacos. It's a pothead pit stop. It's a pothead pit stop. Nobody likes their tacos, but their tacos are convenient. Dude, their midnight munchie meals, totally for mun- oh, stoners. Munchie meals, come on. Yeah, no, of course. That's why I thought of the pothead pit stop. But, I mean, it's it's really it's super unhealthy good food like their buttery jack it's literally like if you hold it for uh maybe longer than five seconds it'll slip out your hands that's how that's how buttery it is like the top of i don't eat butter on the top of the bun but i don't know how it works i love it i love it i love that i love i don't usually go for sriracha or jalapenos but they have a sriracha jalapeno sourdough jack Oh, oh my God! It's great. Got bacon on it too. Oh my God. Neither, neither do I. Seek it out. Neither do I. I. But you know what? I was like, you know, I'm not gonna like this. I'm gonna order another burger on the side just to wash it down. Do you want a drink, sir? No, I'll take the other burger just to wash it down. That's it. But um, no, man. Seriously, like, okay, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say Jack in the Box is winning, but who else do you have? Jack in the Box is not winning at this point. No, it's oh. not winning at this point, but if... Okay, McDonald's. Next. Let's go. McDonald's. All right, I'll say McDonald's is winning at this point. In-N-Out is winning at this point. I'd rather have In-N-Out I don't, I don't. I don't want you to put the Big Mac in it. I want you to put, like, the quarter pounder, like a double quarter pounder. Double quarter like, pounder. Okay, then how about we go... All right, then we'll go with the, um, a double, a double double from uh, In and Out. You're going double quarter pounder. It's only fair, um, right? I mean, I say quarter pounder. I mean, you can't even, you can't compare those amounts of meat. That's, I mean, that's, yes, you have. A, what about the Angus beef from from McDonald's? That has a lot more meat. Do they still have the Angus beef from McDonald's? I don't know, honestly. Last time I went, it's been a while. Because they, they have do. the they have the um they don't, the, uh, the signature food. select ones. Yeah, I've never been like, like you know what? Angus? Let me make my own burger. Like, no, that no, doesn't. Bitch, I pay you to fucking make it for me. Yeah, that's why you got twenty things on the menu. I want options. You mean this burger has pickles? This burger don't? I'll take this one. It's just it's simple. It's science. Man. What's the next place? Uh, <laughs> you know, list. we should have made a list, but you know what? You know where I never. I never go. I never go and get burgers. I've probably been there once, and I got like a shake. It was an amazing shake because they have great shakes. Sonic. Hmm. You can't say you've been to Sonic, have you? I've been to Sonic. You can't. But I don't think I've had their burgers. Now that yeah. Got it. Exactly. Huh. Never. They have amazing shakes though. They do. They have like they have they like have shakes where you can put like shakes. candy, Jolly Ranchers, chocolate, swirl that up like different kinds of like banana, strawberry, whipped cream and shit. Uh, it, it's it's pretty good. Like I don't I don't. Set up butter fingers. Just straight big fast food chains. I guess yeah. I think, think, think that's it, right? I think that's. I feel like we're missing like Dairy Queen, but who goes to Dairy Queen except? People Bat travel. Burgers, at, people Bat travel across uh, Bob's Big Boy. Bob's Big Boy. Ugh. I think that's going out of business. And then what was the last one? I feel like it was the last one. No, there's a few more. Like my brother loves Five Guys. Okay. i would never been. I'll be honest with you. I've never been. I heard it's hella expensive, but I don't really consider that fast food because that's... I think it's a little bit high. It's a step higher, is it not? Yeah, it's a little step higher, but also they have like an app where you could just like order it to the store. They make it, and then once you're there, they like give it to you. See, but, is, but they don't. They they make the bur- burger. They make the burger. No, yes, 
It is. It is kind of a, a restaurant burger, but just because they had you customize it yourself. That's what it is. And then also, like, they don't make the fries until you order them, but that's the only thing that keeps you, like, delayed out the door. But, man, Five Guys is good. If you ever see a Five Guys, stop and go to Five Guys, because Five Guys, you need to. It's It'll change your life. Five Guys? You have to take me to Five Guys. I don't have to do shit. I don't, I don't have right, to do so shit. It's come down to the best burger is In and Out. No, it's not. It's not In and Out. Did you say McDonald's? I, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go with McDonald's, but. I'm going In and Out. That's my. That's my vote. You know what, man? No, I won't. I won't. In terms of overall goodness. I'll, I'll go Carl's Jr. or Jack in the Box before I go in and out. Which in terms of, burger? in Which terms of, burger? Which Carl's Jr. burger? You know what, man? We, we can go with what, what's the, what's no 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 no. What's the new one they got? The uh, the California Classic. I'll go with the California Classic over the In and Out. I'll it? go with the California. It's like a, it's like a Carl's Jr. Big Mac. That's what it is. <laughs> It's it's really good, but except for that little like bun in between the patties, you have just like double, it's just double, it's just a double double. That's it. Right. Carl's version of a double double. Anyways, besides, I'm, I'm, besides I'm telling you that you know what, the Jack in the Box. I go with the um, what's the one? A bacon ultimate cheeseburger, uh, hands down, hands down. No you know vegetables, you, you know bacon, straight to the point. Avocado. Does and they, don't have, they don't have avocado, but if they had, if they had some avocado in there, I was gonna say bacon. Nobody really cares about avocado. I care about avocado. I love avocado. Well, why don't you go eat the pure avocado? Actually, avocado in between like just a piece of bread is actually not that bad. There's nothing that, but bread and avocado. That sounds My like the. My grandma gave it to me one day. I was surprised. I was like, screw it, ate it. It's pretty good. That sounds so poor. So, so terrible. And it sounds like the bread will be mushy. Alright, speaking about things that go inside our mouth, now let's talk about things that come outside our ass. Yeah. how much is a fuck ton? One fuck ton. A fuck ton is 400. Uh, no, wait. A fuck ton is 300. A shitload is 400. Well, one fuck ton is about a fuck load times 10. What? Yeah. Where, where, are you, where are you getting these stats from? This is DailyDot.com, and this is Google has released their uh, How Much is a Fuck Ton uh, article. So basically, it breaks down from a buttload to a fuck ton. So Google, the, the multi-million dollar company yes. that is a search engine for literally everything on the internet, is, in the internet. has focused on making an article no, no, about they made, a, they made a not an article on it they made um like a conversion chart they made a conversion chart from so one, this is what they're focusing their efforts one on one buttload to one fuck ton this is what they're focusing their search engine efforts on this is what all these people are investing money in and they're they're getting this as a product these are not. These are answers to questions that haven't been asked by anyone since people grew up. Did you really grow up, though? Really? Yeah. I just uh, really got bigger? Yeah, way bigger. <laughs> like, the size of three people. Anyway, so, one buttload, alright. So you need ten buttloads equals one butt ton. So ten but tons equals to one ass load. And okay. Here's here's my question for you. When when is this conversion chart going to be necessary for me? Cuz I can understand if I'm going from like, you know, imperial to metric. But when am I going to go from like metric to retarded? Hey man, what if you're in the special olympics one day and you just didn't know these facts? What the, there's no debate Maybe in the Special only, Olympics. What if the only uh, person speaking uh, fuck, is from buttload to fuck time? Uh, a buttload. I got ten buckloads. Uh, you are... Things? You are a shitload of stupid. Um, 
doesn't even make sense. Ten, all right, uh, ten ass tons equals one shitload. Ten what? shitloads equals one shit ton. And so what? the conversion goes from, so basically any ten loads equals one ton. I gotta dump a load right now. Like, this is... Oh, yeah, drop some kids at the pool. You mean the Cleveland Browns to the Super Bowl? Yeah, play Madden right now. Anyway, so yeah, it goes from load to ton, from ton to load. So it goes from butt, ass, shit, to fuck. This is totally unnecessary to my life. This is a... You may this need this terrible. one time in your life. Like, you never know when you may need to convert. Never. Know, one shitload into butt tons. Never. You have 30 never. shit tons. How many is that in butt tons? Uh, as, no. I'll never use this information. Ever. In my life. I barely knew, like, the difference between a fuck ton and a shitload, but that's about it. That was from, like, college days watching YouTube all day. Oh, yeah, no, I have this information. This is what YouTube is for. But no, no one's ever going to... No one's ever going to make a conversion... They really made a conversion chart. Yes. The potheads at Google. God, this is why I should... Just... I, I don't just, know. This is well, terrible. You back, all you at home, just Google fuck the time and the conversion, show, uh, conversion chart will show up. No. I won't. I refuse. You don't have to, but other people can. This may be. This is a valuable tool you can use in the workforce. I won't. Whenever you need to convert, you know. Oh yeah, put that on your resume. Oh, Excel and Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and conversion of retarded shit. Exactly. I need to see your resume now. I have a pretty good resume, honestly. I, I know. I've, I've worked in multitude of different things. I bet you haven't. I've worked in a truck body company. I worked in a massage therapy uh, school. Um, wow, you can't even remember what you've done. This no, is what I've drugs do to you, kids. I've done a lot. I worked at a, do worked drugs, at a baseball kids. stadium as an usher. Look, at, he thought he, he thought he was black. He tried to be an usher. Little fat Justin Bieber you are. My hair is long. Just yeah, and if, you're, if your beard was longer, you'd be Zach Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis is doing pretty good for himself, though. Oh, yeah, for a fat Jesus. Actually, no, he's sim- he's he's slimmed down. Like how Jonah Hill slimmed down, he kind of slimmed down. I can see that happening, but still. For, um, what was the movie that he did with um, John Hamm? Where they were spies? Uh, I didn't see it. Uh, but you know what movie I'm talking about. I don't think so. It, oh, you don't know, but you know. You, 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 Oh, here we go. Um, I, I don't know what it was called, yeah, right. but it was John Hamm, uh, the girl who plays Wonder Woman, um, the redheaded girl. I forgot where she was from, and then Zach Galifianakis, and they were like spies. It was weird. That sounds weird. Did not finish watching it. It was a terrible, sounds, terrible. Movie. Sounds horrible. It was a very bad movie. Did not do good. So I worked. Because here's my resume. I've worked at a truck body company. I've worked at a massage school. I've worked at a baseball stadium. I've worked at GameStop, um, a spa, and I've worked at a newspaper. I've you also work. worked part-time as a film, recording film for uh, high school and community college football. Your resume is terrible. My resume is all over the place, man. It kind of is. I mean, like, I even got, like, my CPR certification in there. I so? Got, I got, like, how many hours of community service I've done, observation hours for, uh, you know, my school, stuff like that. No, those sound horrible. You should probably you should probably go get some more certifications or quit uh, from life. Quit from life? Quit from life. Just quit. Life sucks. Straight to the point. Just quit from life. I think we, we, the fuck time will be very useful. No. 
No, it won't be. I hope we're done. I hope we're done with that. I hope we leave that where it is, buried in a ditch, in the annals of the internet. If one day you get ever get questioned about that, and you and you succeed because of this conversation, this I was the conversation. So hard this you. was the conversation where I got asked that, and I thought, you know what? I know something, and apparently, I know nothing, and I don't want to know anything. This is this is it. This will save your life one day. This will save or this will your ruin children my life. and your wife. Save or waste? Both. This will waste my life. This is terrible. Jesus. This is the biggest waste of time since I tried to make my own condoms out of plastic bags from grocery stores. It's harder than you think. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> It wasn't, because why would she say it? <laughs> oh, man. You Anything know else? How hard your dick is? You know how hard you're putting it in her? I mean, you have a guess, but you don't like, really know how it feels. I hope we don't go into this. No, it doesn't work there. It doesn't work there. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, anything else you want to add? I, all right, I got this one theory I've been spinning around for the last few days. A theory. It's a religious theory, so you might be think it's a little crazy and out there. Oh, I always like shooting down religious theories. Let's go. All right, you ready? So, yeah. Two people who kill each other, or two, all right, so two. Wait, 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 wait! You said it's a theory. Is this a theory or a joke? Theory. Okay, it sounds my, like my thought, it sounds my like process on it. two guys walk into a bar. One's no, carrying no, no, no. a Bible, the other one's carrying a rock. Who subject. wins? Yeah. <laughs> all right, fuck you. Rock Anyways. wins. Oh, no, paper win. Anyways. Oh, how religion's going to win against a rock. So when two people fight over each other over religion, and they try and kill each other over religion, they're basically fighting and killing each other over what happens when the other dies. Repeat that? So when two people are fighting or having a debate, and they're fighting trying to kill each other over religion, they're trying to kill each other over what happens when the other person dies or when you die so after you die what happens but they're trying to kill you because they ha they don't think they don't like your religion and they're fighting you over it that's what religion wars are basically what do you think about that i've been thinking about it for like the last two weeks i mean you're not wrong but I, no, you're not wrong at all. Is it I'm an oversimplification so, of the subject? I'm so confused right now. I don't know how you, uh, so what, like what the Christian, wording was, but so Christian and if, you guys, if you guys are fighting over what happens when you die, I mean, and then one of you dies, you don't get to get that answer, but you get to kill him, so you know that he's going to where you know for sure that you're not going. Well, he, if he dies, well, if you kill someone in the name of religion... Technically, that person goes to hell, and you're supposed to go to heaven. Te if you if you do it over a religious reason. I'm gonna secede from this, because I don't I don't see anything that I can add as a benefit to this conversation. It is just retarded. Why? Uh, you mean killing in the name of something that you have to believe? Killing, killing It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I agree with that. Yeah, but, but... There are people who believe, and there are religions that believe in killing in the name of a religion. Correct? I have not studied all religions, but I believe that there is probably a religion out there who decides that that is a correct theory. So you would agree with me? No, I wouldn't agree with you, but I would agree with whatever information that you got that from. I just thought of it. Oh. Then I don't want to agree with your brain, which is Wikipedia. No, that's not Wikipedia. I just made it. Yeah. Wikipedia. I just made it. So you think I can't have an intelligent, thought-provoking, philosophic, philosophical... Thoughts. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you can think whatever you want. <laughs> Wikipedia is not going to stop you from putting it on the internet. 
I haven't even put it on the internet yet. Yet. See how dangerous that is? That yet? <laughs> oh, I haven't killed those people yet. That's attempted murder. Nope, I haven't planned it out. Yet. <laughs> what? Well, I guess technically, uh, technically you couldn't be a, a convicted for attempted murder if you haven't thought about killing them yet. I don't. Those, these are scary thoughts, man. These are some scary, scary thoughts. Why? Because you're dangerous. Your thought process is dangerous to the world. What, why is it dangerous to the world? Because you think like Trump. Tr- okay, so how is me thinking people killing over each other over religion is dumb? Because they're killing each other, find out. I'm not saying that you thinking that is dumb. I'm saying that the simplicity of what you think, like you boiling it down to one point, makes you dumb. Why? Because life is not simple. What? Life isn't simple like that. But you can take big, huge things and simplify it into like, like dividing. It's like dividing. Did you just compare? killing people for religious reasons and religious views to the division that you no. learned in second grade math. No. No. Not even close. That has nothing to do with it. I'm, I'm counteracting what you said about me oversimplifying it. And I'm saying, yes, it's an oversimplification. Like division, you just take piece. You start uh, taking what it is, the big whole concept of it. And you take pieces of it, like, let's say, um, 12. So 2 divided by 12 is, what is 2 divided by 12? Six. 6. So you get 6. So you go, uh, so you do the division tree, you go 2, and then one six. you go 3 and 2. So then you got, yeah, that's right. What? What are you looking at me like that? Because you're retarded. <laughs> what are you doing right now? I'm teaching people math, not very oh wisely, but I'm oh still my. teaching people, so oh horribly. Are you done, man? Because I gotta go. All right. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thank you for listening to BC Radio, where BC Radio stands for. Blimps and Carnage. Is that whatever he said, yawning? Blimps and Carnage. <laughs> Please follow us at Facebook Big at chunky. BC Radio slash 2017. At Twitter at BC Radio 2017. Uh, what? Nothing. I was just, I was just e- shaking my head. Instagram at BC Radio. You can email us at BC Radio 2017 at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook. Thank you and have a wonderful time. Bye. I hope we get hate mail. <laughs> At least we get some mail. Oh, yeah. At least. Oh, man.